Okay everyone, this is my uh, charger. I've installed this coil circuit box with a quick release snap thing. Um, wired it up to the bus bars. Uh, it's my on and off switch. I've got it running at the moment, so the light's on. That's actually the uh, part of the base resistance. So I use that as the end to let everyone know it's on as well. Input wires. Uh, at the moment I've just got this analog voltmeter from charging a battery. Just tell me what this battery's at. So I've just got it. I've got it clipped in. Power out. Return. It's my power supply at the moment. The one under it is his power supply as well. I'm not using it. Um, I haven't gone as far as I'd liked because I had some problems. After these are the other circuit boxes I'm putting in. There's my other coils over there ready to go. This transistor and stuff is fried, so I have to replace that. Um, this one here, I had to replace all the resistors from the base because I realized I put the wrong ones on. Instead of using 150 ohm, I used 33. <laughs> Not the same. And uh, I'm going to switch out all these diodes, all these output diodes. They're a, um, over here they're a 1N4007 and I'm going to replace them with the 1N4008 which is a 3 amp version of the same diode so it's a lot meatier so once I've done that then I can install them but at the moment I've just got this one coil running it runs really well um, although I've got the resistance set up for the 3 or 4 coils when I get the 4th um, so at the moment this one's drawing a bit more than I'd like it's drawing 2 amps so it's a little warm but it's not too bad and it's charging not those two but this battery here and it's outputting, I don't know if you can see the other light it's about 1 amp, it's a 10 amp meter so it's outputting 1 amp um, this is one I've been restoring so last night I drained it for it's, it's basically a um, it's basically a 50 amp hour battery it's a car battery but if you were going to call it amp hours you could call it about that I drained it for 9 hours, 2.5 amps, and um, let it rest overnight, and it was sitting at 12.16. And now I've just been recharging it for the last 6 hours, and it's just about 13 volts now. And uh, it'll keep climbing. It'll get quick, now the hard part's over, it'll get, once you reach 13 volts it charges a lot faster. So that's good. These other ones are just other batteries. So that's my progress so far. As I said, it's taking a little while longer. I've been doing other things, the hydrogen and stuff. And I want to do this properly, so I figure to take my time, I won't rush things, get it done right. So it's a little wiring, it looks like a mess, but it's actually not. I use all the same colour because I'm colourblind. Everyone laughs at me, but it makes sense to me. And uh, so I don't really care about the colours. So that's that. Alright. When I install the other coils, I'll uh, do another vid. Cheers. Bye.